to say is if m is power a, m is power b, t raised power c is the dimension for momentum. Now don't forget that momentum, the formula for momentum is mass times velocity. Dimension for mass is m. Dimension for velocity is l t raised power minus one. If you don't know about dimension very well, I release a video on dimensional analysis in which I explain how to deal with dimensional analysis. So this is just part of the question to back it up. Now, now say it, we should relate this with m is power a, m is power b, t is power c. That is according to the first statement. This dimension of momentum, and momentum dimension is this. So in which they said we should relate this with this. So that means our a here would be the power of m. So that means a is one, and our b would be power of l. So that means b is one. Now C will be power of T, which is minus 1. The next statement is M is power X, L is power Y, T is power Z is dimensional formula for energy. And don't forget that energy is equal to MGH. Since energy is MGH, M here is mass, so the dimension will be cap to M. Then G here is acceleration due to gravity. So acceleration due to gravity is L T raised power minus 2. Then we now have our h here, or better, still, let me write it like this. Our m here, which is mass, the multiply by, then acceleration to gravity. Acceleration to gravity, dimensional formula is L to raised power minus 2. The multiply by the h, which is height. The dimension is what? Is L. So if we multiply these two together, you have it to be m, but L will multiply L here, so that's what? L squared. Then T raised power minus 2. We are asked to relate this with what? With m raised power x. L raised power y, then t raised power z. We now compare the that means x is the power of what? Of m. And that is what? Is 1. Then y is the power of what? Of L. And that's what? That's 2. Then z is the power of what? Of t. And that's minus 2. So therefore, the, the value we have to find is ax plus by plus cz. So it's not because to what's our a? Our a is 1. So multiply by what's our x? That's 1 plus our b is also 1, then multiply by y, which is 2, then plus our c is minus 1, multiply by z, which is what? Minus 2. If we now calculate this, this one is 1, plus 1 times 2 will be what? Will be 2. The minus 1 times minus 2 will also be what? Will also be 2. And the final answer here is 5. So the answer is 5. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I remain the Shalad, if less popular known as what? Jen David. Thank you very much. We, we want your comments uh, at the comment section. Want your comments at the comment section. The question says, what is the dimension of latent heat? The question says, what is the dimension of latent heat? Option A. Dimension of latent heat. Let me see. If the dimension of latent heat, let me let me give it like this. If the dimension of latent heat is m raised to power a, m raised to power b, then t raised to power c. If the dimension of latent heat is m raised to power a, l raised to power b, t raised to power c. What is 7a plus 2b minus 3c? If the dimension of latent heat is m raised to power a, m raised power b, t raised power c. What is the value of 7a plus 2b minus 3c? Let me have this answer at the comment section. God bless you. Thank you.